Hi guys, my name is Layla Lee and today I'm doing a white cut crease with a blue lash line um, and it's shaded in, I'm adding glitter, it's really cute and I'm ready to jump in. <laughs> Let's do it. Now I'm going in with my Sea Blue Matte Neon Pigment and it's by DFA Cosmetics. It's really um, nice. It's a loose powder. Um, I got it in a stack of, I want to say like eight and I'm doing a half um, blue crescent moon over my eye and just buffing it out after I pack it in. Now sometimes it can get like splotchy or patchy because I don't know it just doesn't take to the skin but I just am working with it and then I'm going in with Sephora collection um, my boyfriend's jeans and soda pop mixed in and it makes like a nice stormy color to it I really like how that came out I'm just packing it on there with a flat oval brush for packing. I'm going back over it with a sea blue. Cleaning up the actual crease part. Um, now this is going to be like, um, like a blended in top cut crease. So I'm just like dabbing it along where the lash flares out and then I'm going in with my palest color that I could find by LA girl uh, pro concealer and you just need like a little dab of it I swear like you don't even the brush gives too much product now all you need to do is get a little dollop like on the back of your hand and get like a tiny little glob and it will go a long way because your eyelid is not that big and you don't need that much product and it'll start like creasing so I just like to tap it in and slightly move it but yeah and then I just have to let that dry for a little bit and then I go in with Jaclyn Hill Morphe 35 dream colors in the color beam with a flat brush and I'm just packing in that like brightest white it comes out white on me but it's more of like a yellow undertone but it still works Now I'm going back in with C Blue by DFA Cosmetics and that loose powder and I'm just giving myself a half wing. I like that um, like color that just like isn't in between like where the cut crease and everything is. It is kind of like, it looks kind of angelic to me, I don't know. <laughs> now I'm going back in with Soda Pop to darken that lash line and it just really looks good. I like the color combination. Now I'm popping on my NYX uh, glitter primer and then I'm going in with the NYX silver glitter um, and just dotting it on with a liner brush and then I have some chunky silver disco like glitter and I got that I want to say I got it from a Joann's fabrics like it was supposed to be for something completely different but I just saw it and I just thought that it was so nice now I got that blue royal blue um glitter that I'm putting on my lash line uh I got that from my local beauty supply store it doesn't even have a brand but it it does its job i really like it i'm going in again to buff out that sea blue matte neon pigment And then now it's time for the face. I'm going in with my Pore Professionals uh, Pore Primer. Just working it into my skin all around. A 
Now I'm cleaning up my brows. I probably won't do my brows on camera. If you guys want to see me do my brows in like an updated version of them because my brows are always a work in progress, just comment below and let me know. If not, it's okay, no pressure. <laughs> Now I have my NYX Epic White Liner, and I don't really like the brush. The brush is kind of wonky. It is definitely not a level one eyeliner, like liquid liner person's <laughs> deal, but it's okay. Like it takes about three layers for the white to like show without cracking and everything and um, it's all right. If you guys have any better suggestions on a white liner, uh, let me know below because I'm always on the lookout for a better white liner that is easier to manipulate. Maybe I should just get like a better brush versus I don't know what they gave me. And um, right now I'm just like working my lashes. I have a spoolie with no mascara on it and then I have my It Cos Cosmetics Ma mascara just color correcting with my orange Ellie girls concealer just really going in channeling my inner Oompa Loompa okay <laughs> just pat in the product with my little sponge there I really like using that triangle sponge versus like the circular ones. It really gets underneath the eyes without like poking me in the eyes. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's kind of old school, but I'm into it. so that there's no color transfer and then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just lightly putting it on there I don't really want a cake face today um, don't really have anywhere to go the living room is fully booked but you know it's not a house party type deal like I'm not going anywhere I'm going to a hotel Layla <laughs> Now, I just got this Morphe um, foundation. They had a sale. It was $10 for this foundation. Now, normal price is $18, which within itself, like, I get the MAC uh, Studio Fix foundation have been born and raised off of MAC, and I went over to Morphe, and it's actually not bad. It buffs out pretty nicely. It's definitely um, my winter shade because it is on the orange side. But, you know, we're just working with it. We're, we're exploring. We're seeing. We're buying a little bit. And I'm not too mad at it. Uh, maybe in the summertime when I get darker, it might be a problem. But, you know, that's tomorrow's issue. <laughs> now I'm just buffing around my eyes with my um, MAC NW43 um, foundation powder. And that really helps buff and like it's really nice the way it transitions now I'm going in my warrior 3 by Juvia's place um, palette and I am getting out the color Congo and I'm just going all around my inner corners to really just give me a nice dewy look and it looks nice. And 
I'm just going underneath on my bottom lash line with the color Soda Pop. Now, this color Soda Pop has like a purple y look to it that I really enjoy. Just going over my lower lashes with it, it Cosmetic Mascara. Now I'm pointing out bun and what is the other color? Central Park. No, no, no. Buns and Mocha. And that's my contour color. Going around the bottom of my neck. Or the bottom of my jawline, more like. Just give it a little extra suckage. <laughs> now I'm going in with Juvia's Place in that red color. Going along the contour, just to make it seem more natural. Now I'm going in with Bare Minerals Silver, and this is discontinued. I got this in the 8th grade, and she is still popping off. Now I'll just tap it on. Since it is like technically a loose powder, I'm just going all along my cheekbones. Then I'm going in with my NW43 um, foundation color by MAC Studio Fix. And here's my Beauty Supply Brown Shimmer color. <laughs> now that is the end of my look, guys. Thanks for watching to the end. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I hope you guys are enjoying 2021. I know it has been a long, crazy ride so far. But it's still kind of litty. <laughs>